So the way the outdoor facility is set up is that first thing when you come in, you have your office uh, area where we can uh, monitor all of our experiments and everything going on at the site. And we can actually remote in for that so we can check it from home, you know, in off hours and on weekends and stuff. Uh, we also have our tool storage and all of our PPE. So you can come in, grab your safety glasses and all the coveralls, everything you need. Uh, then as you start swinging around, we have all of our uh, storage sheds that we have back here for just site equipment, everything you need to operate this facility in all weather conditions throughout the whole year in Pullman. So from 100 degrees in the summer to negative 10, degree, or 10 degrees Fahrenheit in the wintertime. We have kind of our gas bottle storage area and also our gas bottle supply uh, for any experiments we're running. So we typically run uh, helium. Uh, for purging purposes, hydrogen for actual testing, and we have liquid nitrogen on, on site right now to do uh, some other tank testing that we're working on and burst testing that we're doing. Uh, we have our emergency shutoff systems. This is uh, mainly for uh, fire and safety situations. If there ever is a, is a safety event, we can just turn our, our safety switches off and shut everything down. Um, that we have more storage, so that's kind of the uh, experiment specific storage area. So everything we need for the current experiments that we're working on is stored in there. Right now we're running a liquid hydrogen fueling station, a fueling station and also liquid hydrogen fuel tanks for our DOD project on the unmanned uh, aerial vehicle flying off of liquid hydrogen. We have Drew here uh, getting set up for our liquid hydrogen testing that we'll be doing this afternoon. Uh, this is a new test article tank here. So we have this outfitted with uh, pressure sensors and temperature transfer, pressure transducers and temperature sensors uh, in the tank. And know when it's full, basically, when we can end our test and then take data on uh, oil up characteristics. Uh, we have our liquid hydrogen doer on the right hand side. So you can hear that sound going. That's our cryo cooler. Our, it's a helium refrigeration cycle. And that's actually pulling heat out of our system and liquefying our hydrogen. Here we have on our pumping manifold that just transfers our hydrogen around depending on if it's in our, our gas bucket storage tank or uh, being actually transferred into our doer. And all the pressure reliefs and vent valves and uh, dial gauges and everything you need to operate that. So we have uh, ventilation constantly going anytime we have hydrogen in the station. That's for safety codes and standards so that we can never accumulate hydrogen here. It all just gets vented and goes up to outer space. Uh, we have our electrolyzer here that we recently started commissioning. That's producing our hydrogen by splitting water apart using electricity. Then we have the compressor for the cryo cooler and all of our safety controls, uh, temperature monitoring, pressure monitoring. Uh, the brain of the fueling safety, if you will, is located in this room. Uh, and that all gets transmitted over to the office for 